This is the setup for hand winding the Tesla collar. Basically, you've got a bolt, a little bit of pound or so, actually, a pound of 34 gauge uh, enamel wire, magnet wire. And um, I have pre cut this. Uh, this is six, about six and a quarter inches, between six and a quarter and six and a half inches of this 34 gauge wire on this three and a half inch. Uh, piece of PVC pipe and I cut this to size just with a hacksaw and sanded the ends to get them as even as possible and I just left a little excess wire as you can see there and just taped it on the uh, inside of the PVC pipe and this has not yet been treated with polyurethane so the next job is to treat this with polyurethane this was hand round Took about probably about just over an hour to hand wind that with a couple of breaks in between. And whenever I needed a break, I just put a little piece of scotch tape to hold it, uh, prevent it from unwinding. And I made sure that there was no overlapping of the wires. That was a little bit hard to do, but that's important when setting this up. And I, I think I've got it without, I can't really feel any. You can feel along it if it doesn't feel smooth it means you've probably got some overlapping wires anyway that's it so far here's the coil with two layers of lacquer on it it's possible to layer it with a with a very smooth finish like this by not using a brush to put the polyurethane on but by shaping some aluminum baking foil into like a, a dish and then filling it with polyurethane and then just holding the ends of the uh, of this uh, pipe and then just rotating it around to give a smooth coating of the polyurethane. A brush tends to give uneven coating. And I'll just show you how I do that. So I have some uh, plastic gloves like this because polyurethane solvent is kind of toxic. Get yourself some card, just some stiff card, and just curve the inside of it so that it conforms to the, uh, to the coil. Put some aluminum foil inside the curved card like that. Bend the ends so that the, uh, the ends like this, so that when you fill it up with a polyurethane, you're not going to fill it much, just a, a thin layer of polyurethane like that in, inside this dish. So you've made a kind of dish out of it. So I'll get the polyurethane, polyurethane like in the dish like that. So it forms like a, a layer. Yeah, it's about probably half a centimeter thick layer of it. Coil uh, the uh, coil in it to be lacquered like that and just rotate it around like this. And you get a really smooth finish. Pour the rest back in the can when you're done like that. And then you have a good, good coating on your coil. Leave that to dry, that's my third coating. So we'll see what that looks like when it's finished. Here's the finished product. It's really smooth and three layers, totally dried off. So now it's ready uh, for putting the rest of it together, which I'll show you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.